Yeah, thank you so much. So, yes, so let me start from the initial slide only. Yeah, so hello everyone. This is lecture one on computer networks and now we are going to start introduction to computer networks. So first of all, I just want to tell you how computer networks were started. Okay, so initially computer was developed for high speed calculations only because the word computer itself comes from computation. Okay, so in TOC we have studied uh, uh, the Alan Turing in 1936 developed machine called uh, computer. He called it as computer, but uh, after a uh, few years, everybody said that uh, we should call it as a Turing machine. Okay, because it was developed by L Alan Turing. Okay, so yeah, so computer was developed for high speed calculations only. But as the hardware cost decreased, okay, so initially hardware cost was very high. So as the hardware cost decreased, so multiple computers were installed in different places in the world. Okay, so multiple computers were installed in different places in world, in different places of world. Okay, now since there were multiple computers, then there was need to transfer data. Then there was need to transfer data between them. So in early days, we were having floppy drives and all. So one one uh, one person physically will go from India to USA to transfer the data and so on. But obviously that was not feasible. So slowly and slowly, computer networks were developed. Okay, so that was not an efficient way. Nah? You give some floppy drive to some person and he will travel all the way to US to transfer data and so on. It was not feasible. Okay, yeah. So in early days, it was feasible, but now it is not the good case. So we will simply transfer data by wires and all by use with the help of internet and all. But uh, previously, it was not there. Okay, so the only medium was physically persons were going from uh, one place to another to transfer the data. Okay, then slowly computer networks were developed. Okay, so uh, so let me give you a small idea. You can take this uh, snapshot of this slide and I will jump to the next slide. Okay, and uh, I will give you a little bit idea that how data is transferred and all. Okay, so you can consider we have a computer sender, okay, which is sending the data and we have another computer which wants to receive some data. Okay, so first of all, consider them they are connected via a dedicated link a dedicated link first of all you consider that they are connected via dedicated link or wire okay so uh, what do you think that uh, we will directly transfer the data from here to here no okay we have a wire so we uh, we have to perform certain task okay so the entire task or you can say the uh, the basic aim is to transfer data from sender to receiver okay so the actual task let me write it. Yeah, so the actual task is transfer data from S to R. Transfer data from sender to receiver. But this task is divided into multiple subtasks. Okay, that is not, uh, see, I can simply say transfer data. So, how it will be transferred? So, there are multiple subtasks. Okay, so this is the big task, or this is our basic aim to transfer the data from sender to receiver but now we will have multiple subtasks so what are the subtasks see the the very first subtask is see ex, uh, you assume that sender transfer all the data at once from uh, uh, sender send all the data at once to receiver okay so when it we it is transferring the data some noise come or something uh, you can say some unwanted signal comes into the picture then obviously sender has to repeat the entire data okay so that should not be done so the very basic or the very uh, very first subtask should be data should be packetized okay so uh, so uh, data should be divided into small packets and these packets must be transferred from sender to receiver so in place of sending entire data sender should first divide the data into small small packets okay so the very first subtask should be packetize the data Packetized data. Okay, data should be packetized. I am writing in the shortcut manner just to save the time. Okay. Next, next important subtask can be see for example, sender is using Windows okay, and receiver is using Unix. So I think you already know 
no file of windows will run in unix and no file of unix will run in windows so how data should be transferred so the second subtask should be there should be some common format okay which can be understood by sender as well as receiver so the second subtask can be to convert the data into common format so that both of them can understand okay third see sender and receiver if we talk about uh, they are simply computer system now so they can understand only binary so the basic thing is how binary will be transferred from wire that is not possible okay one and zeros cannot be transferred directly so the basic thing is they should be converted into signal more precisely electrical signal if we are transferring through wire if we are transferring through optical fiber then they should be converted into light signals and so on so simply we can say or roughly we can say that uh, your binary data should be converted into signals so that it can be transmitted okay so next subtask can be binary data to signals okay? so that it can be transferred through wires okay and the fourth subtask can be we have assumed that we have a dedicated link but it is not the case always okay so multiple uh, multiple send or stations we should say stations because sender and receiver terminology is used when this is sender and this is receiver only sometimes it can also become sender so we should use the terminology stations so uh, you can say with one channel multiple stations are connected okay let me give you a small example i think you already know this is bus topology kind of thing so multiple stations are connected via this wire okay so this channel is shared between multiple stations okay so the next important subtask can be who can access this shared channel when that is the very very important point okay so this is the shared partner so for example when a and b are communicating then c and d cannot communicate why because this is the shared channel okay so collision will occur and so on so who can access the shared channel when that is also very very important subtask okay so who can access the channel when who can access the channel when who can access channel when shortly i have written okay so like this i have just given you four subtasks but actually there are lots and lots of things which we have to cover okay so the basic thing is that the uh, the task was to transfer data from sender to receiver but it is not at all easy we have to do multiple subtasks okay so now who will handle all these subtasks okay these are handled by network models okay so uh, you can take the snapshot i will jump to the next slide and I, now i will start what are the network models okay take snapshot yeah so i hope you have taken that so the basic thing is that i am repeating again so basic task is to transfer data from sender to receiver but it is not at all easy we have to handle lots and lots of things or you can say we have to handle lots of lo lots and lots of uh, things okay so we should care about multiple things okay the task is you can you may think the task is very simple but we have to handle lots and lots of things okay so who will take care of all these subtasks and all that will be taken care by network model so let me jump to the next slide okay so we have to do lots of subtasks okay so next is network model so what is network model network model will take care of all these subtasks or you can say all the issues okay so we can say network model or nm can handle nm can handle all the issues all the issues related to data transfer related to data transfer between sender and receiver so what are the issues i have told you packetize the data okay i have just given you small hint packetize the data common format binary data to signals who can access shared channel when and so on like this there are multiple subtasks and in computer network subject we will study all these subtasks only okay one by one we will study that of course there are many i cannot list them at the same time 
okay so slowly slowly we will dig deep into the subject and we will get clear more clarity okay so basically we need network model and network model can handle all the issues related to data transfer between sender and receiver okay so next is uh, what are the examples of network model okay so there are multiple network models but in your gate syllabus we have only two one is osi model and second is tcp ip model okay so now as soon as i say osi model or as soon as i say tcp ip model you your uh, image should be in your mind that they will handle all the issues related to data transfer between sender and receiver so our task is to transfer data from sender to receiver now you do not really don't care about them what what should be done and what should not be done you will simply say i am using osi model okay so it will take care uh, it will handle all the issues okay so for example you want to plan a trip from your city a to city b okay so you will hire one uh, you can say manager or or something like uh, you you may book your tickets from yatra.com and so on so they will handle all the things okay from your home pickup to airport from uh, from airport to hotel and so on okay so they, they will provide you car to uh, for sightseeing and so on so they will handle all the things you just give them payment and they will handle all the things for you that is the basic thing you can imagine like these models they will handle all the issues whatever issues may come they will handle them okay so these um, and there are other other models also like uh, we have uh, uh, atm model and so on okay but we will not study them because that is not in gates syllabus and this subject is really very vast okay so we will study that slowly okay yeah and the next thing is uh, all these models have layers okay so network model have layers which can perform few subtasks okay so these models these models have layers which can handle few subtasks which can handle few subtasks okay so you can think of them as uh, managers and this th these managers have team okay so these are the teams so uh, more layers are just like teams okay so each layer will handle few sub task okay for example physical layer it will handle how how the data will be converted into signals okay next is data link layer data link layer will handle who can access the shared channel when and so on okay so each and every layer will have some functions okay are you getting it so these are there are lots and lots of sub tasks so the problem was how to manage all these sub tasks so for example you you want to do lots and lots of things so how you will manage that you will hire a team okay and you will assign few work to each and every team member that is the case so network model will handle all the issues so now how they will handle that they will have layers okay so all these models have layers so these models have layers which can handle few sub tasks we have done comp uh, compiler design by, by the way and in compiler design we have studied na lexical analysis syntax analysis semantic analysis and so on okay so all these uh, these were the phases of compiler na so our task was to convert high level language program to assembly language so for this conversion there were multiple phases in the compiler design that is the similar you can think like that layers are just like that only okay so these models have layers which can handle few few sub tasks okay and in gate exam you will find lots and lots of questions related to these layers only like which of the following function is performed by uh, which layer like they will ask uh, who will uh, which layer is responsible for converting data to signal so you will say physical layer okay which layer is responsible for uh, for uh, for uh, access control like uh, who can access the shared channel when okay which which uh, layer is responsible for that you will say data link layer and so on okay so many times theoretical question have been asked in get related to this topic and this is very very important okay so layer uh, functions of these layers this is very very important anyhow we will uh, jump to these uh, after few slides okay so you can take the snapshot and i will jump to the next slide now okay so i hope you all have taken that let me jump to the next slide and now we are going to start the very first network model that is osi model okay. so the very first model is osi model osi is open system interconnection model open 
सिस्टम इंटरकनेक्शन मॉडल ओके ओएसआई इज ओपन सिस्टम इंटरकनेक्शन ओके व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय ओपन सिस्टम ओपन सिस्टम मींस इट इज ओपन फॉर ऑल दैट मींस टू सिस्टम्स कैन कम्युनिकेट रिगार्डलेस ऑफ देयर अंडरलाइंग आर्किटेक्चर ओपन सिस्टम मींस टू सिस्टम्स मींस कंप्यूटर्स ओके टू सिस्टम्स कैन कम्युनिकेट regardless of their underlying architecture regardless of their underlying architecture so architecture in terms of hardware as well as software they have different software they can communicate like one is using windows one is using unix they can communicate hardware means one system is pentium 4 another system is say pentium 3 and so on they can communicate so regardless of their hardware regardless of the software they can communicate okay so this osi model like i have told you each and every model has layers so similarly osi will also have layers so layers are uh, it is having seven layers okay so osi model is having seven layers okay so what are the layers so layers are application layer okay let me do that on the next slide okay that will be a much better option i will make a, a big diagram in front of you so let me jump to the next slide okay yeah so seven layers now we are going to start so uh, at this is sender side okay and this is the receiver side sender side and receiver side <clears throat> so this is application layer application then presentation then session transport then network layer then data link layer and then physical layer yeah so this is layer number 1 okay i have written in the opposite manner this is layer number 2 layer number 3 4 5 6 and 7 and you should know them uh in precise order also okay so what is layer number 7 application what is layer what is layer number 6 presentation and so on you should know them properly okay yeah and uh, and uh, many students forgot about uh, what is the order of uh, these so you can uh, there are many uh, styles which you can make one of the style which uh, i like the most which i have developed is you can think like that aap papa se to nahi darte pappu like this you can make any rhyme okay so aap papa se to nahi darte pappu like this okay so you can uh, make your own rhymes also so the basic thing is you should remember them in order okay so in the same way uh, a receiver is also having the same layers yeah so uh and obviously sender and receiver uh, might not be you can say connected directly okay they might be uh, there might be some uh, intermediate nodes also between them so for example uh, we have a node here mm, yeah so we have a node here okay so sender and receiver are connected by this node or you can make another node uh, here also but uh, we have uh less space so i am making only one node okay so in uh, this node will have only three layers okay this node will have only three layers why it is having three layers and all it uh, uh, don't worry we will come to that also after few slides okay yeah so uh, the, the the basic thing is sender side application layer will communicate with receiver side application layer okay sender side application will communicate with receiver side application sender side presentation with uh, receiver side presentation session session transport transport 
okay yeah and network layer uh, of sender will communicate with this node and then this node and so on so you can think like that also uh, that a network layer of sender is communicating with uh, network layer of receiver and so on okay so the basic thing is that the actually i'm not making the exact diagram so uh, mm, it will confuse you so okay don't worry y you make diagram till here okay yeah and this node okay this node this node is using these three layers only okay yeah so the, so the basic thing is layer x on one machine is communicating with layer x on another machine it's not like that sender side application it is communicating with receiver side application also presentation also session also and so on no you you just concentrate on this diagram okay so application layer of sender is communicating with receiver side application layer only so these are very very important point which you should remember so the very first important point is layer x on one machine layer x on one machine is communicating with layer x on another machine okay. layer x on one machine is communicating with layer x on another machine okay and another thing is see uh, if sender wants to send some packet to receiver so the uh, who is creating the uh, packet or who is creating the message first of all we should say who is creating the message application layer is creating the message like this okay then it will go to presentation layer this presentation layer will add header presentation to it then it will go to session layer session layer will add its own header to it then it will go to transport layer transport layer will add its own header and so on okay then it will go to network layer network layer will add its own header okay so let me label that header presentation we were already having then header session okay and in place of header i should simply write like this presentation session okay then presentation session transport then presentation session transport network okay and then it will go to data link layer so presentation session transport network and data link data link layer is uh, you can say a bit different because it will add both header as well as trailer okay so presentation session transport network and data link layer and data link layer okay yeah physical layer will not add anything to to the data okay because it will uh, it is mostly responsible for transferring data from sender to receiver side that means it will convert your data to signals okay so its main aim is to convert the data into signal that's it okay so that's why it is not adding anything application layer is also uh, not adding anything to the data because it is simply creating the message so obviously who is create uh, the layer which is creating the message will not add something okay so other layers will add something like this okay so the from this point we can conclude that each layer see for example session layer or you can say say transport layer so this transport layer is using services from the layer just above it and giving services to the layer just below it okay so within each machine each layer uses the services of the layer just above it and give services to the layer just below it so this is the second important point which we should know okay yeah so each layer each layer uses services of the layer just below it and gives services to the layer each layer uses services of the, of the layer mm -hmm. each layer uses services of the layer ju uh, just above it now just above it and give services to the layer just below it okay so for example uh, transport layer is taking services from the uh, from session layer and giving services to the network layer and so on 
okay so services means simply packet is coming and it is attaching header and so on like that you can think okay so yeah so uh, the uh, you can say uniqueness of data link layer is that it is adding header also and trailer also okay yeah so now what physical layer will do it will transfer this entire packet to other uh, receiver side okay yeah and at receiver side it will be unpacked forget about the node uh, for, for the time being just forget about this okay so just try to concentrate here so at center side what we are doing message has been created by application layer then header presentation then header session then header transport header network and then header as well as trailer is added at data link layer and then uh, physical layer will transfer the data or you can say this packet to receiver side and at receiver side physical layer will receive it and then this header and trailer will be deleted okay uh, uh, physical layer will receive it and it will give to data link layer now what data link layer will do let me copy these things so that we get more clarity yeah so now see this what is happening here so uh, data link layer will receive this okay and after receiving what it will do it will simply delete it will simply delete this uh, header as well as trailer and pass this entire thing pass this entire thing to network layer what network layer will do network layer will delete its uh, header network and pass this entire thing to the transport layer what transport layer will do it will delete its header and transfer this entire thing to the above layer okay at this uh, session layer. session layer will delete its uh, session a uh, header session and it will transfer uh, to presentation layer. presentation layer will delete its header and transfer the message to application layer so you can think like that we have a message and in one envelope you have uh, you can say you have uh, you want to send letter to somebody okay so you have written the letter and after writing the letter you are picking that letter uh, you are uh, you, you can say you have folded it and you have put that in in one envelope and then this is your one header and then another envelope then another envelope and so on like that so uh, this uh, keep on adding envelope at the center side and at receiver side you simply delete the envelope and finally application layer will receive the message okay so i hope you have got it and and in the same slide only i will give you uh, other terminologies also that th these terminologies are very important because many times they have been asked in gate directly or indirectly okay so forget about uh, presentation session at transport layer at transport layer the name of the packet the name of the packet is known as segment okay is known as segment why uh, i am saying to forget about presentation and session and so on uh, you will come uh, come to know after few slides okay yeah so application layer simple message simple application layer we will say message yeah at transport layer we will use the terminology segment or sometimes we will use the terminology user datagram user datagram packet name okay so when we will use it don't worry you will come to know about it after few slides okay network layer we call datagram and data link layer we call it as uh, frame yeah so at at transport layer there are two names segment or user datagram at network layer datagram and at uh, data link layer frame so in gate exam they will give you numericals and quotients they will use frame size or frame as soon as you see frame the word frame in the question you will say okay the question is related to data link layer they will not explicitly mention you have to think about it sometimes they will use the word datagram the moment they use the word datagram you will say okay they are talking about network layer sometimes they will use the word segment so you will say okay they are talking about transport layer and so on okay so these are the terminology uh, packet name okay transport layer packet name may be segment or user datagram packet name at network layer is datagram packet layer at data link layer is frame and so on okay so you should remember all these things okay now so now uh, i think uh, you can take snapshot of this slide okay yeah everything is on one slide you can take the snapshot 
and then I will jump to the next slide okay and give you few more insights of all these things yeah so I hope everybody has taken the snapshot okay yeah so okay here itself uh, I have some space so let me give you some small idea here itself see I am saying layer X on one machine is communicating with layer X on another machine so you may argue with me sir how layers are communicating okay they they are simply abstraction we have just uh, defined the role okay so what uh, uh, layer means uh, few 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 subtasks are combined and we have made the layer okay so we, uh, directly directly we can say in reverse order also that uh, each layer is doing some uh, su few subtasks okay so layer means few subtasks only so how layers are communicating Layers cannot communicate now because they, they, they are simply collection of few subtasks. So actually in layers we have several processes which are communicating in terms of operating system. We can think that we have written some piece of code now. Nothing is done automatically. We have to write some piece of code to do some task. So you have written some piece of code and when it comes to RAM and so on it will become process. We will study that in uh, operating system only what is process and so on. So you can you have just idea now. So you, you can simply think of piece of code. Okay. So actually processes are communicating. Layers are not communicating. Okay. So processes on each machine that communicate at a given layer are known as peer to peer processes these terms are very very important okay so processes on each machine processes on each machine that communicate at a given layer that communicate at a given layer are called peer to peer processes are called peer to peer processes okay so actually processes are communicating roughly we have said that layers are communicating but layers cannot communicate so actually processes are communicating and these are known as what peer to peer processes what do you mean by peer to peer processes or the word peer what do you mean by peer Peer means uh, we use the term na, peer pressure and all in, I, in IITs when you go to uh, uh, go to IITs for MTech they will say peer pressure and all so peer means same standard you can say your colleagues and all okay so why we have used this uh, word peer here peer means see sometimes uh, I have uh, I have used uh, that this is sender and this is receiver okay so these are not fixed so sometimes it will become sender and sometimes it will become receiver also so it is not fixed that it is always sender and it is always receiver and so on are you getting it so say we have p1 and p2 these are the two processes i am saying this is sending and this is receiving the data okay so sometimes it is sending sometimes it is receiving sometimes it can become sender it can become receiver also okay so they are peers okay so it is not like that uh, p1 is superior to p2 that means p1 can only send receive and p2 can only receive and so on okay so obviously superior person can can speak and speak and so on and so on and the inferior person will have to listen and so on but it is not like that here for example manager is keep on tell, uh, uh, giving commands or giving uh, uh, you can say tasks to the team members and so on so it is not like that okay so both are peers that means same standard okay the word peer means same standard or same privileges okay the word peer means same standard same standard or privileges that is s can become r and vice versa sender can become receiver and vice versa yeah so you should know all these things okay and i have uh, told you that except application layer and physical layer e all the layers add header but data link layer is a special layer which is adding header as well as trailer okay so you should know all these points and let me write that no problem because these are very very important point okay so where should i write i'm writing here so what is the point except application layer and physical layer 
एक्सेप्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड फिजिकल लेयर एवरी लेयर एड हेडर बट डेटा लिंक लेयर एड ट्रेलर ऑल्सो या सो नाउ यू कैन टेक स्नैपशॉट आई विल जम्प टू द नेक्स्ट लाइक नाउ Hmm. and what exactly is there in header and so on we will come to that thing later okay so don't worry about it what what exactly header is uh, means and what exactly header is adding and so on so you can roughly think that header means some information has been put into the message and so on okay. so we will study that don't worry yeah take snapshot i will jump to the next slide okay so why application layer is not adding anything because it is creating the message okay and why physical layer is not adding anything because it is it mainly deals with transferring signals from sender to receiver okay yeah so we can uh, we can write the point like uh, layer number layer number from layer number you should be able to recognize layer number 6 5 4 3 okay what what is layer number 6 you can think a presentation session transport network 6543 add header add header layer number 2 add layer number 2 add header as well as trailer layer number 1 layer number 1 that means physical layer uh it does not add a header doesn't add anything the, or you can write does not add header why because it mainly deals with transferring signal it mainly deals with transferring signal from sender to receiver yeah and the last point uh, layer number 7 or uh, that is the application layer application layer also does not add anything layer number 7 that is application layer does not add header why because it mainly uh, it you can say it is uh, it is creating the message na that's why it mainly deals with uh, you can say uh, it is creating the message or it is used to create the message used to create the message now you you may argue with me sir how it can create it is simple process na layer number 7 that is application layer is a process so how it will create the message so basically it means see who is creating the message obviously user okay because you want to send message to somebody so you are creating the message so now question arises is how you will create the message or who will provide the interface or where you will type the message like you are sending email so gmail you you will get a user interface and all na that is the application layer okay so it is used to create the message or you can uh, so basically what it means it will provide interface okay so application layer will provide interface application layer provide interface okay with the help of which user can access network phase with the help of which the help of which user can access network user can access network okay so this is the network and this is the user so how user will access this network so for that we have application layer okay so application layer will provide an interface with the help of it user can access this network okay yeah so you can think like that okay take the snapshot i will jump to the next slide so uh, once done please let me know so that i can shift to the next slide quickly 
Yeah. So yes, I sir. hope. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yes. So now we have studied seven layers in OSI model. So these seven layers are divided into three subgroups. Okay. So these seven layers, seven layers are divided into three subgroups. Three subgroups. So group number one, group number two, and group number three. In group number one, we have uh, layers uh, five, six, and seven. Okay. In group number two, okay. So labeling should be done like that only. We can think uh, group number one is layer number one, two, three. Okay. One to one, you can uh, link. Uh, one to three is group number one. Group number two is five, six, and seven. And group number three is only one layer that is four. Okay. So one, two, three, we have clubbed them together. Why? Because layer number one, two, three, they are dealing with physically, uh, physical aspects of moving data from one device to another. Okay. So how data will transfer from one device to another or physically how data is transferred that is taken care by layer number one, two, three. Okay. So these are known as network support layer. Okay. Layer number one, two, three, number one is physical. Layer two is data link. Layer number three is network layer. So these three layers uh, are used are mainly deal with physical aspects of moving data from one device to another. Okay. So they are known as network support layer. One, two, three are known as network support layer. Okay. Why? Because they mainly deal with they mainly deal with physical aspect of moving data physical aspect of moving data from sender to receiver okay so how data will be transferred and so on okay layer number five six seven they are known as user support layer user support layer okay what do you mean by user support layer because uh, i have told you now uh, windows system can communicate with unix system and so on so who will provide interoperability interoperability means uh, common format and so on so we'll provide that that will be done by that will be taken care by layer number five six and seven okay yeah so two different system can communicate because of only these three layers okay two different systems Two different systems can communicate because of these three layers. Because of these three layers. That is, they provide the term is interoperability. They will provide interoperability. Okay, yeah. So this is group number two. So I hope you are getting it now. So how actually data will be transferred that will be taken care by one, two, three and how uh, see once receiver has received the data. So now uh, uh, it should be in common format and so on. So who will provide that thing that will be provided by layer number five, six, seven. Okay. So uh, we have uh, you can say separated out this uh, layer number four because it is used for end to end delivery of entire message. It is used for end to end delivery of entire message. Don't worry about it. You will get to know about what do you mean by this and all. You simply copy that. Okay. So layer number four is responsible for end to end delivery of entire message. Okay. So roughly you can think that uh, 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 entire message has been chopped into multiple packets and so on. So at receiver side, all these packets should be should come in proper order and so on. So everything should be maintained. Ah, so that means end to end delivery of entire message that is controlled by this layer number four only. OK. Yes. So these are the three groups in which we have divided these seven layers. So you can take the snapshot and I will jump to the next slide and our basic introduction to this model is completed now. Layer by layer, we will study the things. Okay. And functions of layers are very, very important. Okay. 
so i hope you all have taken the snapshot yes okay yeah okay so now we are going to start functions of these layers we have seven layers now so we will study them functions of these layers very very important so the very first layer was physical layer physical layer so what are the functions of physical layer so we will study that the very first function is physical characteristic of media and its type physical characteristics of media and its type so what do you mean by physical characteristics that means how media looks like okay for example uh, is it made of uh, plastic or is it made of glass or is it made of copper and so on okay how media looks like copper glass plastic etc that is the physical characteristics of media its type means uh, what is the type of media like is it is wired media or it is wireless media and so on okay is it wired media is it wireless media and so on you can think like that okay so anyway you should know the names only they will be these will be asked like which layer is responsible for physical characteristics of media and its type so physical layer is responsible for these things okay so the next is representation of bits representation of bits so as i have told you in the few slides back that physical layer main functionality is uh, to convert data into signal okay so how these signals will look like that is the basic meaning of representation of bits okay for example uh, simplest scenario for example you want to transfer 10110 so how you will transfer the signal you will say okay one means some uh, logic one means uh, you can say some current is flowing on the wire and then zero means no current is flowing like this you can imagine one means current is flowing zero means current is not flowing and so on one means current is flowing one means current is flowing zero means current is not flowing and so on like this okay so how this uh, you can say the bits look like on the media that is the basic meaning of representation of bits okay so i hope you have got the point yeah so next is representation of bits means how these uh, these bits will be converted into signals you can think like that okay bits means uh, how these bits are converted into signals converted into signals okay if if you have any doubt then i will dig deep into these topics also okay so don't worry so you you are free to ask any doubt okay if anybody is having any doubt you can ask me okay so the next is uh, next function is uh, because uh, see why i am not digging deep into all these things because these are unnecessary details okay so you should know these words only which layer is responsible for a bits representation bits representation responsibility is physical layer okay so how uh, actually uh, few years back uh, these signal conversion was in your syllabus okay so data digital data to digital signal like manchester encoding was there differential manchester encoding was there nrz non return to zero return to zero okay there were uh, many signal encoding techniques but now it is not in gates syllabus so we will not going into uh, uh, these topics and all we will not touch these topics so i have just given you a rough idea that one means presence of current zero means absence of current like this you can send data on the wire okay so in in wire if current is there you will say okay logic one if uh, uh, in on wire current is not there you will say logic zero and so on roughly that is more than sufficient okay yeah so this is representation of bits yeah next is data rate or transmission rate data rate or transmission rate 
और बिट ड्यूरेशन वट डू मीन बाई डेटा रेट ट्रांसमिशन रेट बिट ड्यूरेशन लेट मी टेल यू दैट थिंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड डोंट वरी आई विल गिव यू टाइम टू टेक स्नैप शॉट बिकॉज आई विल कंप्लीट दिस फंक्शन ऑल्सो ओके सो एज सुन इन नेटवर्किंग यू शुड नो द रूल डेटा रेट एज सुन एज यू सी दर्ड रेट रेट मीन्स समथिंग रिलेटेड टू टाइम ओके डेटा रेट मीन्स नंबर ऑफ बिट्स ट्रांसमिटेड पर सेकेंड ओके डेटा रेट मीन्स नंबर ऑफ बिट्स ट्रांसमिटेड पर सेकेंड Are you getting it? The moment you see the word rate, rate means related to time only. So data rate means number of bits transmitted per second. Okay, that is same as transmission rate also. Data rate, transmission rate, one another same thing. But bit duration is a different term. Let me give you idea of that also. So let me write it here itself. Data rate or transmission rate, one and the same thing. Data rate or transmission rate, one and the same thing. Next is bit duration. Okay, so duration means again time. But what do you mean by bit duration? So by common sense, we will think uh, like duration of your uh, duration of doing the task. That means how long you have done that task. That is the basic meaning, na? See, you will say my duration was two hours. So that means for two hours you have done the work. so that's how we will say bit duration means how long the bit last on transmission media bit duration means how long bit lasts on transmission media okay so for example we say data rate let me use another color okay so for example they will say data rate Data rate is one thousand BPS, or you that means BPS means bits per second. Bits per second. I have told you the no, number of bits transmitted per second. That is the data rate. Okay, BPS means bits per second. Okay. So what do you mean by this? That means one thousand bits are transmitted per second. Okay. So this means one thousand bits are. transmitted per second by a medium whatever medium you are using that is the basic meaning okay so now what is the bit duration how long bit last on transmission media so obviously what you will say in 1 second or you can say 1000 bits 1000 bits are transmitted in 1 second so one bit is transmitted in 1 upon 1000 second That is one millisecond. So for one millisecond, one bit last on transmission media. Okay, so I think you have got it now. If you have studied physics and also time period and frequency, reverse relation. Okay, so you can consider this as uh, time period and this as frequency. Or roughly, you can say this is frequency, this is the time period. More precisely, we should say like this. If you want to make analogy, you will say this is frequency and this is time period. Okay. I think you have got it, na? How long bit last on transmission media? That means for one millisecond, one bit last on transmission media. Okay, data rate or transmission rate means how many bits are transmitted per second. I think you already know, na? Frequency means number of cycles taken by signal per second. Okay, that is uh, frequency, and time period means cycle time. Let me give you a small idea. This is not in gate syllabus, but I am just giving you the idea. Earlier it was there. Okay, so for example, this this is sine wave which I have made. Uh, so I will say this is one second. So how many cycles have been completed in one second? You will say two cycles have been completed in one second. Okay, so one cycle time that is the time period. So this is one by two second. This is also one by two second. Okay, don't go by my diagrams. My diagrams are not neat and clean. Do not say, sir, this is long and this is short and so on. Same only. Okay, so one second, two cycles. So yeah, one cycle in one by two, one by two seconds. So time period is one one cycle time, like this. So one bit time that is bit duration. Okay, yeah, and in one second, two cycles. So you will say in one second, one thousand bits have been transmitted. So data rate is one thousand bits per second. 
so i hope you have got the point what i am i want to clear you and a uh, unit so the basic thing is they will ask numericals just to see you know the units or not okay so let me give you the units first these are very very important take snapshot i will jump to the next slide and now i will provide you the list of units okay so i am jumping now yeah so i hope you have taken the snapshot yes sir okay so 1 millisecond 1 microsecond 1 nanosecond 1 picosecond 1 millisecond 10 power minus 3 second 10 power minus 6 seconds minus 9 second minus 12 second that is more than sufficient okay yeah so if uh, your uh, bit duration okay this is bit duration bit duration 1 millisecond means 10 to the power minus 3 second for 10 to the power minus 3 second one bit last on transmission media or 10 to the power minus 6 seconds or 10 to the power minus 6 seconds one bit last on transmission media that's why we have said bit duration is 1 microsecond and so on yeah so now what about my data rate i will write it here data rate okay and and uh, yeah so what will be the data rate i will say if for 10 power minus 3 second one bit last on transmission media so what will be the data rate 1 kbps 1 kbps means 10 to the power 3 bits per second simply reverse them simply reverse them okay bps So in networking, you should remember one kbps means one ten uh, power three one thousand only. In operating system and in computer architecture, you will study ten uh, 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 one k one kbps means one zero two four. Working, we will roughly say ten power three only. Okay, so one kilobits or one kilo uh, uh, one kilobits means one zero two four two power ten two power ten is one zero two four. and that is 1k bits but uh, in networking we will roughly say like this 1 kbps is 10 power 3 okay this will be 1 mbps 1 mbps that means 10 power 6 bits per second mind the units bits per second 1 and 1 gbps 10 power 9 bits per second okay 1 tbps 1 terabyte per second 10 power 12 bps so i hope you have got the point if anybody wants me to explain these things uh, then i can explain otherwise i hope you already know these are very basic things any doubt here please let me know clear yes, sir okay so you can think like that 1 millisecond 1 kbps and like this so if bit duration is 1 millisecond data rate is 1 kbps and so on okay so let me start the next uh, you can say your uh, uh, function data rate transmission rate is over next is synchronization of bits synchronization of bits synchronization of bits means see if i say you want to transfer one so you will say like this if you want to transfer two ones you will say like this one and one if you want to transfer three ones you will say like this one one and one and so on okay so now if i say my data rate is say 1 mbps my data rate is 1 mbps that means 10 to the power 6 bits per second or 1 bit last on transmission media for 1 microsecond 1 microsecond is bit duration a microsecond is very very small instant of time 1 second we do not know when 1 second goes so 10 to the power minus 6 second that is really very very small amount okay yeah so if we are transferring data then if sender 
to send only one bit that means single one receiver will receive it if it send sender send two ones then receiver will have to receive so how it will differentiate because current is flowing on the wire so you will say okay for two microsecond current was flowing that's why two bits have come that means two ones have come so it is next to impossible for receiver to to check these things okay so how these things will be taken care that is the basic meaning of synchronization of bits so directly directly it means receiver should be able to differentiate between single one double one triple one and so on but it is really very difficult for receiver so directly directly sender and receiver clocks must be synchronized their clocks must be synchronized in such a way that receiver should be able to recognize the difference between single one double one or triple one roughly i have told you okay so synchronization of bits means in one word if you want to write we can uh, think like that sender and receiver clock must be synchronized sender and receiver clocks must be synchronized must be synchronized in such a way that receiver must be able to differentiate receiver must be able to differentiate between one double one triple one and so on so you can write like this okay this is synchronization of bits okay so next next is line configuration line configuration okay what do you mean by line configuration line configuration means uh, uh, point to point or multi point okay line configuration is of two types okay let me do that in the next slide it will become messy line configuration Line configuration is of two types point to point and multi point. Point to point means uh, between every two stations, there should be a dedicated link. Like this is uh, A and B, A, B, C, and D. A and B should be directly connected B and C, C and D, A and D, A and C, B and D all the between every two station there should be a dedicated link that is the basic meaning of point to point link point to point as the name says point to point that means what between every pair of stations uh, there should be a uh, they should be connected directly okay every two stations should be connected directly or you can say dedicated link between every uh, between every pair of computers dedicated link dedicated means uh, private link you can consider that okay dedicated link between uh, between each pair of computers between each pair roughly okay yeah what do you mean by multi point link when there is no dedicated link multi point means no dedicated link so directly indirectly it means what generally shared Channel is shared, so it is shared like this. Okay, or like this. Now, do not say they are uh, point to point. No, how these two are connected? No, how these are directly connected? No, how these are directly connected? No. So, obviously, this is an example of multi point. Similarly, this is an example of multi point. That means no dedicated link. Okay yeah and in graph theory we will study these thing also so in how many point to point links are needed if we have four stations so how many point to point link one two three four five six six total six are needed so how you can uh, how do you know we need six so general formula in, in combinatorics we have studied so you you from these four you just pick any two and between these two you should have a uh, wire between them so four c2 okay so if we have n stations so how many links we need nc2 nc2 means n into n minus 1 by 2 
आई होप यू हैव गॉट इट एंड दिस हैज बीन एस्ट इन गेट मेनी टाइम्स बाई दी वे एंड नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज टॉपोलॉजी ओनली सो दिस इज नोन एज मेस्ट टॉपोलॉजी इफ यू नो दिस थिंग मेस्ट टॉपोलॉजी सो नंबर ऑफ वायर्स नीडेड फॉर मेस्ट टॉपोलॉजी दे विल आस्क वायर्स नीडेड आर वायर्स नीडेड आर एन सी टू दैट इज एन इन टू एन माइनस वन बाय टू ओके सो आई होप यू हैव गॉट द पॉइंट so this is line configuration okay and this information is given by your uh, physical layer okay next is physical topology next uh, is physical topology i i will come to that slide only okay don't worry i will give you time to take snapshot next is physical topology physical topology means physically how network look like or how network is laid out physical topology means how network is laid out how network is laid out okay. or how networks look like physically that is physical topology so there are multiple uh, topologies i think uh, they they are not required because they are very simple and uh, you already know them but let me give you small idea okay so mesh topology mesh means nc2 nc2 wires directly you should know this thing this has been asking it many times so like four we have done that only but let me just do it again just for the simplicity so between every pair you should have a dedicated link dedicated link between every pair i have written that only by the way okay so i should not write them again and again you copy it na just to save the time i should copy that yeah so dedicated link between every pair yes so this is mesh topology okay by the way i have created a mesh only okay so this is first uh, second is star topology okay this is star let me copy here that star topology okay that means we have a central hub okay and these are the systems which are connected so like a and b wants to communicate so a will send data to this hub and this hub will transfer data to b and so on okay so this this can be hub switch router whatever way we want we can keep them and don't worry we will study them in detail what is what do you mean by hub what do you mean by active hub passive hub okay all these we will study don't worry okay what is bridge uh, then layer 2 switch okay then layer 3 switch we will study lots and lots of them don't worry okay and these are in gates labels by the way okay we will study that okay so this is star topology third is uh, bus topology bus this is the bus topology yes, so this is a shared channel right? so who will access the shared channel one that is bus topology and the next is uh, ring topology these computers are connected in the form of ring okay so this is all about physical topology and there are uh, many others also and we will, we will not dig into uh, deep into these things it will simply waste our time okay time is precious we should value the time so we are not uh, unnecessary jumping into these topics okay uh, actually see, computer networks is really very vast okay so if we keep on spending time on these small small topics Uh, it will simply create mess in our mind so better is simply leave those topics which are not required okay only important important topics we will study for gate point of view and by the way when these are not in gates labels so they will not ask such uh, simple questions okay and mesh topology many times i have been asked and i have told you nc2 wires okay now you take the snapshot that's all okay 
yeah so physical topology is over so the last uh, is transmission modes transmission modes transmission modes i think you'll already know there are three types of modes simplex half duplex and full duplex let me write that properly half duplex and full duplex simplex means one direction communication that means this is sender this is receiver one direction like this okay so half duplex means station one station two so, uh, station one can send data to station two station two can send station data to station one but simultaneously not allowed okay so one direction that is simplex both directions that means half duplex but no uh, simultaneous not allowed simultaneous not allowed full duplex i think you have got it both directions and simultaneous is allowed that is full duplex we are talking on a phone that is full duplex both you both can speak simultaneously no problem half duplex means walkie talkie uh walkie talkie one person will press the button he will speak other will listen only okay he cannot speak hands on okay. simplex means your radio uh rj radio jockey is simply speaking and you are simply listening you cannot speak and so on okay these are the examples of transmission modes yeah so physical air overall is completed you can take this snapshot also so serial order if we go uh, this is the uh, this is the picture of your uh, physical layer these are the uh, tasks and all yeah and here we have discussed the data rate or transmission rate then we have discussed this bit duration and data rate units then line configuration and physical topology okay yeah so that's it so this is all about your physical layer okay so now we are going to start data link layer okay yeah so from this uh, data link layer you will get uh, more clarity about this subject okay yeah so let me start data link layer so before starting this layer or you can say functions we we should sim we should have a, a idea of few basic terms so let me in introduce those terms then we will study this data link layer so for example we have a sender and we have a receiver and these sender and receiver are not connected directly rather we have two intermediate nodes between sender and receiver okay so the very first thing is uh, they are in the network so how you will identify this is sender this is receiver or how you will identify computers in the network so for that we have two types of addresses one is known as physical address and another is known as uh, logical address so for example you can consider that uh, physical address is 10 logical address is 20 okay and here physical address is 30 logical address is 40 here uh, 50 and 60 okay and here 70 and 80 so directly and directly i want to say that each machine which is connected to internet it is having two types of addresses one is known as physical address and another is known as logical address so let me uh, show you the things so basically we have multiple types of addresses but mainly we have two types of addresses physical address and logical address physical address and logical address physical address scope is one network only okay so first of all you should know what is internet internet is nothing but networks of networks 
इंटरनेट मीन्स नेटवर्क ऑफ नेटवर्क सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज नेटवर्क दिस इज नेटवर्क मल्टीपल नेटवर्क सो वी हैव कनेक्टेड दैम सो वी हैव गॉट एन इंटरनेट इंटरनेट डज नॉट मीन विच वी आर यूजिंग इन टू डेज वर्ल्ड obviously that is an internet but you can build your own internet also the word the term internet means internet that means networks of network okay so you have made uh, networks of network so th there are networks and you have made a big network of those networks that is known as internet okay yes so each machine connected to this internet must have two types of addresses so for example we have a system uh, we have one system here or let me do it like this computer a okay or uh, let me label that outside this is a computer a and here we have a computer b so how you will identify this computer a within this network if you are within this network or your area of interest is this network only then you can identify this a with physical address okay so physical address means uh, each computer should have a unique address within its network only that is known as physical address okay so directly directly i should say it is unique within a lan lan means locality network unique within lan this is guaranteed that within a lan it should be unique okay yeah and how you will identify this a in entire internet for that we have logical address so logical address is unique in entire internet unique in internet physical address is unique within lan unique in lan and logical address is unique in internet okay yes so uh, you, uh, you uh, okay so if you have little bit idea physical address uh, if you use uh, ethernet we will talk about that later but i think you have heard about lan card na in which you insert wire to to, uh, to connect to internet lan card on this lan card this physical address is imprinted okay so physical address is of generally 48 bits 48 bits physical address okay and logical address which we are using is ip address only ip address and it is of 32 bits because in your gate syllabus we have ip version 4 we have two versions version 4 version 6 v6 is not in gate syllabus so don't worry about it they will not ask question actually computer network syllabus keep on changing okay every year most of the uh, i should not say every year but within two or three years syllabus changes so i think till 2020 uh, uh, we have ip v6 in our gate syllabus but in 2021 they have uh, removed that okay so don't worry we will not study ipv6 it is not in our syllabus okay so v4 we will study so ipv4 address is of 32 bits okay so now you may argue with me sir when physical address is of 48 bits logical address is of 32 bits so you should say in reverse manner that physical address should be unique in entire internet but logical address may or may not be unique are you getting it because it is it is of 48 bits so 48 bits is really very huge number so how many addresses you can generate 2 power 48 and how many addresses you can generate here 2 power 32 are you getting it say it, it is very simple if you have two bits how many addresses you can generate 0001101012 power 2 only if you have three bits 0001 to 0001 that means 2 power 3 So if we have 32 bits, so 2 per 32. If we have 48, so 2 per 48. So you should say, sir, physical address should be unique in an entire internet because it uh, it is it has much wider range. But no, it is not the case. Why? See, you you may think that in entire internet it is unique, but then why it is not? Uh, why we need logical address? Okay, if physical address itself is unique, then why we need logical address? 
the thing is same i have used the word 48 bits for ethernet so it depends on protocol to protocol okay what are protocols and all don't worry we will study that in uh, in our subsequent lectures but you can think uh, piece of code only okay protocol is piece of code so from uh, from you can say uh, protocol to protocol physical address might change okay for example for ethernet or ethernet protocol don't worry ethernet is also in syllabus we will cover that actually networking is a big mess if you try to learn networking in just single one single class you will not get it okay so the way which i am teaching that is the most efficient way don't worry you will pick up uh, the speed with me after one or two lectures okay so i am using a few terms which you might not know but don't worry okay i will keep on explaining that with the side by side and the term which really which are really not required i will not explain that like what is it ethernet i cannot answer this question in this in this class itself okay so do not try to learn each and everything in just single class you will get to know about that after few lectures okay so there are uh, this subject is really very vast okay and if you try to learn it in, in a single class that is next to impossible and if even if i try to explain that also you will not get it okay so better is bear with me after few lectures you will get more clarity okay so physical address is of 48 bits and i had used the term ethernet so when ethernet is used then it is 48 bits but if i if i'm using some other protocol it might be of 20 bits if i'm using some other protocol it might be of 10 bits so are you getting it so there is no standard no standard means like uh, this LAN, Ethernet is uh, Ethernet is using this LAN. But in this LAN, some other protocol is used. In this LAN, some other protocol is used. So now a very big problem arises. How you will connect these LANs? Okay. Or how data will be transferred? How A, no, uh, no address of B? Because here address format is different and here address format is different. So for that, we need another kind of address. That is known as logical address. So forget about the machine is a Unix machine or it is Windows machine and so on. Each and every machine connected to the internet will have a logical address also. Okay. So physical address and logical address both are needed. Okay. So you may argue with me, sir, why physical address is needed and all. So I will not give you a direct answer here. After few lectures, you will get more clarity. Okay. Yeah. So uh, so physical address scope is. Uh, one LAN only, but logical address scope is entire internet. Yeah, so that's why I have written here. So what we have written, uh, so the uh, uh, sender and receiver. So this is the physical address and this is the logical address. So each computer connected to internet will have two addresses, physical address and logical address. Let me write that. These are very, very important points. Some uh, one day or another, you might get confused okay yeah so each machine connected to internet has two addresses la and pa okay yeah so each and every machine connected to internet will have two addresses logical address as well as physical address Okay, so these addresses I have written here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Yeah. So, which layer will handle all the issues related to sending data from this sender to this node? Now, please try to concentrate. Okay. So, which layer is responsible? For send, uh, for uh, which will handle all the issues related to sender? to this node okay so basically these are known as node so which layer is responsible for node to node delivery node to node delivery is handled by data link layer okay yeah so are you getting it see you can think like that uh, if sender is sending some data it cannot fly and directly go to receiver firstly it will be sent to this router then or you can say this node Roughly, we should say I should not use word router here. So node, and then this node will transfer data to this node, and then this node will transfer data to the receiver. So in these three steps, entire data will be transferred. I cannot say that it has just uh, fly and go here and so on. 
so who will hand, handle all the, the issues related to node to node delivery that is done by data link layer so now i should say like this node to node delivery okay let me copy that or uh, space issue i'm facing actually i cannot copy because your screen share will go so don't worry let me draw that on next slide okay yeah so this is the sender one node another node and this is the receiver so 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 i hope these words yeah so uh, what i was saying that uh, we have a sender and receiver and uh, hmm. so first of all data will go from sender to this node so who will handle this node to node delivery node to node delivery that is taken care by data link layer so it will handle all the issues related to node to node delivery okay so now node to node delivery is not sufficient now finally we have to deliver data from sender to receiver so who will handle issues related to host to host delivery host to host delivery that will be taken care by network layer and next we should say like this also we have done from uh, host to host delivery from sender to receiver reliably we have transferred the data okay so first of all obviously uh, data will not go from here to here directly it will go from here to here here to here here to here okay so that will be taken care by data link layer so all the issues related to uh, node to node delivery taken care by data link layer now end to end delivery who will handle all the issues related to end to end delivery that will be taken care by network layer now end to end delivery is not sufficient now for example this is sender this is a machine this is a computer so from this computer you have sent data to this computer now actually who are communicating computers are not communicating there are some processes in the computer which are communicating are you getting it in today's world we have what according to operating system we have multi multitasking operating systems now so multitasking means what multiple tasks are running or multiple processes are running okay so which process of this machine is communicating with which process of this machine we have to uh, transfer data from process to process na? that is taken care by uh, your transport layer so process to process delivery process to process delivery or you can say end to end delivery process to process delivery or end to end delivery that is taken care by which layer transport layer so how i will show you the transport layer by say green color so this is one process and this is one process there are multiple processes at center side and receiver side so who will take care of all the issues related to process to process delivery okay so are you getting it first node to node then end to end and then process to process so three stages and three layers so node to node delivery data link layer host to host delivery network layer process to process delivery transport layer so now how how you will identify processes so for that also we have addresses these are known as port addresses okay so each process has an address each process in computer has unique address called port address unique within computer unique within computer so i want to say in this computer and this computer port addresses can be repeated no problem at all within a computer port addresses cannot be repeated and that is obvious also because uh, when it will receive the data then which process will receive it 
because both are having same port addresses that might create problem but in different computers port addresses may be repeated no problem okay so each process in computer has unique address called port address unique within computer okay so different computer have uh, processes having same port address no problem don't worry i'm not writing these points because they will unnecessarily confuse you when we will study transport layer na you will get more clarity rather in first class of transport layer you will get entire clarity about why these port addresses are repeated and so on so don't worry you will get clarity if i try to explain it here itself you will get confused that's why i'm saying in single class do not try to understand each and everything okay i am just building the background so you can think like that uh, i i i am making making a face today okay in other class i will make eyes in other class i will make nose and then i will make a fa uh, make a face and so on and then you will get clarity okay we have made a human face okay slowly slowly we will build that build the things so don't worry okay you will get clarity of all the things okay yeah so now uh, quickly actually let me see the time yeah we have time so please uh, i want to finish this off so that at least you you get the clarity of, of how this face is looking like and so on okay so next what we will be having so uh, processes also have addresses so for example you uh, this uh, address is say 100 and this address is say 200 okay so what will be done so for example this process green process wants to communicate with this process so first of all uh, process will create a message at application layer and then forget about presentation session simply jump to the transport layer why i am saying you to forget about them don't worry you will get more clarity after few slides okay so message has been created by application layer now this application layer message to this application layer message uh transport layer will attach its header okay so what will be attached in that header let me tell you that thing this was the message so uh, this header has been attached by transport layer so transport layer will add port address of the process which is sending the data and port address of the process which is receiving the data so directly and directly both uh, sending process and receiving process port address will be added here okay so 100 roughly i'm writing okay 100 as well as 200 why why uh, 100 has been added so that 200 gets idea okay process number 100 has sent me the data so when it will send reply to whom it will send the reply so obviously it will be there na like you send letter to somebody so you will write your own address also so that the receiving person can uh, reply to you also okay if you do not type or if you do not write your own address uh, your uh, you can say physical mail system will not deliver the packet or uh, the letter will not be delivered na because they will say your address is missing and so on like that only so sender uh, process address port address and receiver port address has been added now 100 and 200 okay some gate questions have been asked from this topic so please try to concentrate and i will tell you which questions have been asked okay so now this uh, 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 you can say uh, transport layer packet will be given to what uh, network layer so transport layer packet was try to remember segment or user datagram that is depending on protocol i will tell uh, which protocol segment and which protocol user datagram after few slides okay next is network layer so network layer will add its own header and only header only okay yeah so 100 200 we have so let me copy that only na it will save our time yes so now what it will add now it will add sender and receiver ip addresses these are the ip addresses or logical addresses so 20 is sending data to 80 okay so now what we will do so i will copy this entire thing there so now now try to concentrate so uh, this was header transport and then header network 20 sending data to 80 so okay two zeros are gone so now uh, header transport header network okay so now uh, 
data link layer will add its own header and trailer i had told you na data link layer is a special layer which will add header as well as trailer to the data okay so uh, in trailer it will add add a detection correction code and so on so don't worry about it i am just writing the trailer okay yeah so it will add its own header now data link layer so what will be added in that what do you think physical address of sender is 10 it will add 10 and physical address of receiver is 70 so it will add 70 no data link layer work was node to node delivery so it will add physical address of the just next node that is 30. i think you have got it so now this this is a frame this is a frame this was datagram this is uh okay i have uh, copied two times okay i have done a small mistake here so let me delete this and the same thing only na? yeah now i think it's okay so uh, this was done by transport layer transport layer this was done by network layer and this is done by data lake layer okay so one was extra okay yeah so transport layer has added header transport network layer has added header network data link layer, ha layer has added header as well as trailer just to remember that's why i have told you uh, uh just now i have told you now header and trailer both are added by data link layer so like this okay so data link layer has added uh, uh a physical address of sender as well as receiver sender is 10 and who is the receiver 30 so it has added 30 so now this entire thing is frame this entire packet is frame this frame will be transferred to this node now this node will receive it and it will say it will unwrap it it will say okay 30 30 is my address okay so he will say okay 10 has sent packet to 30 30 is me so i will receive it okay so you can think like they are very sensible persons okay like uh, from the sender uh, this frame will go to some other nodes also if some other nodes are in the network it will go to those nodes also so let me give you the idea okay so some of you might get confused that why it is going to other places and so on let me uh, say like this okay so this is an example of bus topology okay so actually what is flowing on, on the wire current so can you stop current to go here only and please do not go here obviously it will go nobody can stop current will go here 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 everywhere it will go but the thing is that these computers are programmed in such a way or you can think like that roughly do not go in programming and all roughly think like that a is sending message to d so obviously b and c will also receive you cannot stop them because it is current after all current is flowing on the wire so and they are connected with the wire so obviously they will receive the current you cannot stop them but the thing is that they will see this address a router also uh, or you can say this node also okay this node and some other nodes in the network to which this sender is connected the sender is connected to a big network and uh, there are multiple no or multiple uh, machines and all so they all might receive this okay so send is connected to whatever nodes or you can say this entirely depends on the topology what we are using and all so you can think like that uh, sender is sending current and sender cannot stop current to go somewhere current will go everywhere okay or or, or uh, everywhere means to the nodes or to the computers to which s is connected physically okay all of them will receive but you can think like that they are very man uh, these persons are very uh, you can say they are having good manners okay like uh, you are uh, sending some letter to somebody some other persons are also receiving in between but they will not open up and see it they will say okay these uh, this letter is not for me so why i should open it like mail system physical mail system you are sending uh, e uh, you, you are se sending some envelope to some person so uh, so uh, the person who is delivering the mails he will not open it up and see who, uh, who is sending data to whom and what is the data and all they will never see that they will simply deliver that okay that is the basic thing so here also so other computers are also receiving the data but they will not open it up why open it up means they will not send it 
the physical layer in terms of physical layer i will, I will say physical layer will receive but they will not transfer data to uh, other layers okay why why because they will say like this 30 so this router will say okay 30 is my address so i will unwrap it others will not unwrap it okay so uh, this router will unwrap it and it will say okay and then uh, unwrap means header and trailer are gone now question arises for network layer so now router will say okay ip address is 80 it will check but my ip address is 40 so directly indirectly it means this is not for me so he will again pack this data are you getting it so for, uh, this router has first unpack and now this router will again pack the data and what it will keep what it will keep so let me actually space issue again space issue so okay so i i should copy this how to take this Okay, let me make it no problem. Mm. So, data link layer has added yeah. So, this was the trailer transport network data link. Okay, so what I'm missing. 200 100 100 200 yeah so now that this packet has been received by this node so uh, uh, this node uh, what this node has done so it has deleted these two things this node has received this so it has deleted these two things okay why why because this node said uh, that 30 30 is my address so i will unpack it so unpack means uh, are you getting it now physical layer has delivered data to data link layer now data link layer was header and trailer header and trailer are gone now it is delivered to network layer that means upper layer so now network layer has come into the picture so what network layer will say the receiver ip address is 80 but my IP address is 40, so I should not use it. What it will do? It will again pack it. Okay, so how, what packing it will make? So it will add a header and it will add a trailer. Okay, yeah. So what header and trailer it will add? So let me write it. No problem. So first was this. Yeah. Hmm. So it will add one header and trailer. This is the message only. So in header uh, of data link layer, what it will add? It will add a physical address of sender as well as receiver. So now who is sender? Sender is this node. So now it will attach 30. And who is the receiver? 50. So it will attach 50. Okay. And trailer, forget about trailer. Okay, so this thing has been done by this router or by this node and now it will send the packet the same packet to everywhere to to uh, to nodes whatever it is connected because it cannot stop now signal will be received by everybody yeah so now finally uh, it has been received by this uh, node okay. this node has received this and what it will say okay 50 50 is my address so i will unpack it it will unpack it and uh, what it will get Okay, so after unpacking, it will get this thing. That means network layer has come into the picture. So network layer of this router has come into, or uh, you can say this node has come into the picture, and it will check IP. My IP address is 60, but no, it is for 80. So he is manner. Uh, he, he he. This person is having good manners, so he will say, I will not further unpack it. I will simply pack it and send it to the receiver. 
Okay, so this was 100, yeah. So it will again pack. So what it will attach? What it will attach? You will attach a header and trailer. Data link layer will come into the picture. It will attach header and trailer. In header, it will say sender is 50. Yeah, so here I will say sender is 50 and receiver is 70. Okay, sender is 50 and receiver is 70. Yes, and it will attach trailer. Forget about trailer, uh, trailer means at direction correction. We will study that. Don't worry. Yes, so finally, receiver will receive it. So when receiver will receive, what it will do? What it will do? It has received this packet. So it will first unpack this. 50, 70 will go on. Okay, that means uh, from physically data link layer. Uh, physically has de delivered the data to data link layer. Data link layer will uh, remove this. Are you getting it now? Uh, unpacking. Yes, so this thing has been unpacked. Data link layer has received uh, this. So now network layer will come into the picture. It will say my IP, uh, IP address, uh, receiver IP address is 80. It will say, oh yeah, my IP address is also 80. So I will further unpack. It will further unpack. Sorry, message was there. I have just deleted the uh, header. Yes, so for, after further unpacking, uh, it will say uh, now transport layer will come into the picture. Transport layer will say 200. So it uh, 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 transport layer will say uh, port address is 200. So now receiver, uh, the, it is the responsibility of receiver how it will be then and so on. So it will deliver the packet to the uh, process having uh, port address 200. So finally, 200 port address process will receive the message. Roughly, I think you have got the idea. Okay, so how the things are done. So at center side, uh, message has been created at network, uh, at uh, application layer. This sender will first attach uh, this thing. So sender side like this, receiver side like this. Okay, yeah. So sender side, transport layer, 100, 200 added. Network layer, 20, 80 added. Data link layer, 10 and 30. So uh, physical receiver was not added directly. It has added 30. So 30 means uh, physical address of the just uh, next node. Yeah. So now uh, this router or this node will receive this packet. It will say 30. 30 is my address. So it will unpack. After unpacking, it has got this. This IP address was 80. Receiver IP address was 80. It will say my IP address is 40. So it is not for me. So it will again unpack. It will again pack it. That means data link layer will add header and trailer. In header, it will attach uh, uh, my physical address is 30 and I am sending packet to 50. So it will attach 50. So now uh, receiver will receive uh, this node will receive this. Other will also receive and obviously it will receive. Others will simply ignore because they will say my physical address was different, but here it is different. So they will simply ignore and it will separate. It will say my uh, physical address is uh, 50. Uh, so if you say, yeah, my physical address is 50. So I will unpack it. So after unpacking it, it will say IP address is 80, but my 60. So I have to pack it again. It will say it is not for me. I will pack it again and send it to receiver. So what it will attach? My uh, physical address is 50 and send is, uh, receiver is 70. So I will add 70. So now this entire frame will be received by receiver. And uh, this header and trailer are gone. So it will say 2080. Uh, uh, 2080 so it will say okay my ip address is 80 only so i will further unpack it after further unpacking it will say port address 200 so receiver uh, uh, at receiver side uh, uh, process having uh, port number 200 will receive the message so i hope you have got crystal clarity how the things are done here and don't worry why this router uh, has sent this packet to here and how this router or this node came to know that its physical address is 50 hands so on. Don't dig deep into unnecessary detail. You will simply get confused and you will create a very big mess in your mind. That's why students feel that computer networks is a very difficult subject. But according to me, it's very, very easy if you try to do the things in a proper way or in proper sequence. Okay. So trust me. I will build a very beautiful sequence for you and you will get each and everything precisely and clearly. 
okay so don't dig deep into unnecessary things how this no this address how this no this address and so on okay this is not required for now so you just have got clarity that each and every node is having two addresses physical address and logical addresses okay so similarly like machine have addresses even processes also have addresses which are known as port addresses and port addresses are added by transport layer okay yeah so i think uh, you have got uh, this point so you can take the snapshot and now i will make a beautiful diagram which will give you more clarity take the snapshot okay so i yeah. hope you have, yeah so now let me build a diagram so this is sender so application layer forget about others i will simply say transport data uh, transport then network data link and physical five layers so here we have say two nodes and here we have receiver so like this message has been created at application layer and then transport layer has it header network layer header data link header trailer both physical layer simply transfer the data so at this node physical layer will receive it it will give to data link layer and then it will give to network layer now this network layer will simply again send to data link layer and then to physical layer okay and then it will move to this router or this node this node physical layer will receive it and then it will forward to data link layer and then data link layer to network layer this network layer will again are you getting the idea now which i have uh, given you packing unpacking and so on yes physical layer and then this physical layer will transfer this to receiver side receiver side physical layer will receive then it will give to data link layer data link layer will transfer to network layer okay now this network layer will say okay packet was mine okay and then it will transfer to transport and then to application yes. have you got it Any doubt in anybody's mind, please let me know. No, sir. Okay. Okay. So I think every everything is smooth, fit and fine. So now we will answer gate questions. So what they have asked, they have asked very simple, simple questions. So uh, first of all, they will uh, they have uh, asked the same question only. We have a sender, we have a receiver, and they are connected via two nodes. Okay, so how many times data link layer is used? How many times physical layer is used? Let me answer that question. So, number of times layers used. First is physical layer. Physical. So first time here second time third time fourth fifth and sixth six times data link layer one time here then second third fourth fifth sixth same network see carefully one time here one time here only it is not two times one time only because network layer uh, see uh, this router or this node see this uh, it has received now uh, i think you remember my, uh, my question uh, it was 80 ip address was 80 so this uh, this node will say but my ip address is 40 so i have to unpack and i have to send it again so so network layer, it has just touched it and it has said no this packet is not for me so they are persons with very good manners so they will not open it up further they will again pack it and send it so network layer has been used one two three and four times only okay four times yes what about my transport only two times here and here it has been not used in intermediate nodes fifth application layer only two times sender and receiver and now see this uh, i have unfolded the things uh, in front of you 
I have told you when I have started, I have told you no layers. I have told you these three layers were used. Okay, so in node only these three layers are used. Other layers are not used. So this is the proof that why these only these three layers are used. Okay, so slowly, slowly I will build the concept. Don't worry. Slowly, slowly I will build each and everything. Okay. Uh, after uh, after studying this subject you will get each and everything clearly okay yeah so, uh, so these are very beautiful questions which has been asked in gate again and again okay so number of times so can we generalize it obviously we can generalize it so i will say between sender and receiver between sender and receiver and nodes okay so physically so at each node two two times two n Plus sender and receiver plus two data link layer each uh, between uh, uh, for each node two two times so two n plus two network layer each node one one time and sender and receiver one one time n plus two transport layer only two application layer only two that's it please let me know if anybody is having any doubt. Yes, sir. Okay, so you can take the snapshot. Okay, sir. So yeah, time is up now. So in the next class, we will study the functions of uh, data link layer. We will study data link layer. Yes. Okay. If anybody is having any doubt, you can ask me. Otherwise, I will leave the class here itself. Okay then. Good night. Good night. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, thank you.